If everything goes as scheduled and coronavirus has not ruined my travel plans, then this morning I left London, England, headed for Las Vegas, Nevada. Today's quiz, which will be from the appropriately chosen category of gambling, will be the first of 25 quizzes that I have pre-recorded to play each day while I'm gone on vacation. Stay tuned after this quiz for more information. Now for gambling. Question 1. What is the primary difference between American Roulette and European Roulette? The answer is the number of zeros on the wheel. Question 2. In Texas Hold'em Poker, what is the name of the fourth community card revealed in a hand? The answer is the turn. Question 3. How much is an ace worth in a standard game of blackjack? The answer is a 1 or 11, whichever benefits you the most. Question 4. In horse race betting, if you bet a horse to show, what does that horse have to do in order for you to win? The answer is place first, second, or third. Question 5. What playing card is known as the Curse of Scotland? The answer is the Nine of Diamonds. Question 6. Which Asian city is known as the Monte Carlo of the Orient due to its large casinos such as the Venetian and the Lisboa? The answer is Macaw. Question 7. In Texas Hold'em Poker, what is considered the worst possible starting hand? The answer is a 7-2 offsuit. Question 8. The Kissing Kings are the two kings that meet in the middle of a newly opened deck of cards. What two suits are the Kissing Kings? The answer is clubs and diamonds. Question 9. As of 2020, what is the biggest casino coming in at over 600,000 square feet in the United States of America. The answer is the Windstar World Casino in Oklahoma. Question 10. When playing Pi Gal Poker, how many cards do you receive from the dealer? The answer is seven. Question 11. What term do casino employees and those familiar with the industry use for gamblers who are extremely wealthy and gamble extremely loose? The 
They call them whales. Question 12. When gambling on horse racing, what is the name for a bet in which the person betting picks the first three finishers of a race in the correct order? The answer is the trifecta. Question 13. Wild Bill Hickok was shot in the back while playing poker. What were the cards he was holding that are now referred to as the dead man's hand? The answer is aces and eights. Question 14. When a poker player throws or drops his chips towards the middle, rather than neatly placing them in the center of the table, what is the commonly used phrase for what he is doing? The answer is splashing the pot. Question 15. In a game of craps, what are the boxcars? The answer is when both dice show sixes. Question 16. If you add up all the numbers on a standard American or European roulette wheel, what number will you get? The answer is 666. Question 17. In the game of blackjack, what does it mean if your initial two cards are a hard hand? The answer is no aces. Question 18. Besides a tie, what are the other two options to bet on in a standard game of Baccarat? The answer is player and banker. Question 19. In casino and gambling terminology, what is a toke? The answer is a tip to the dealer, short for token of appreciation. Question 20. In sports gambling, what do you call the wager where you bet on a team to win by a certain number of points over another team? The answer is the spread. All right, that is it for today. At this point, it should be noon Central Standard Time. I don't think I'll actually be in Las Vegas yet, but by the time you watch this, I may be in Las Vegas. It's early in the season of NFL football. I've probably already bet on Buffalo Bills and Kansas City Chiefs to win their games. I probably already lost a lot of money on blackjack. I'm probably sitting down at a poker table getting ready to lose more money. I intend to play roulette, baccarat, uh, probably pie gal, probably everything. I'm going to lose my money at a little bit of every table that I go to. So hopefully you guys enjoy this quiz. Hopefully you enjoy the next 24 quizzes that have been recorded by me over the last few months whenever I had a little extra time. I recorded these quizzes to prepare for this trip. There are a lot of fun categories popping up. Uh, I, 
a lot of really good quizzes that I think you guys will like that will happen while I'm gone. I know Ghostbusters 2 is one of them. There are uh, TV dads. There's a couple of TV ones. There's some candy ones. Uh, there's a whole week of random trivia pub quizzes. I call them the fall ball trivia quizzes that start around September, I think it's September 22nd because September 21st will be the fall equinox trivia. So I've got a lot of good stuff going. It goes until October 6th. At that point, I'll be back in England and ready to start doing new quizzes and getting the quizzes from October 6th to December 1st ready. Because starting December 1st, we're going to do 25 straight days of Christmas trivia. Like uh, Christmas villains, Christmas heroes, Christmas movies, Christmas songs, Christmas cakes, stuff like that. So if you like Christmas, tune in. If you don't like Christmas, you may want to find a different trivia channel to watch during December. Uh, if you have anything that you'd like me to know, you can leave a comment on any of our videos or you can email me at roadtripvia at gmail.com. All one word, no hyphens, no funny business. Roadtripvia at gmail.com. I will have that email on me the whole time I'm gone. So if you have any questions, if I messed up a quiz, if something's not working, if one of the quizzes doesn't pop up, feel free to get a hold of me and I will do what I can. I probably won't have a laptop on me, but if it's something that I can fix from a public computer, I will. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope you guys have a good time while I'm on my vacation. See you tomorrow.